Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models, and welcome to a special video. Uh, thanks to my new friends over at Robotime and Rocker. They have kindly sent me the Rocker Classic Printing Press LK602 for me to build for your viewing pleasure. Uh, this is a kit that is one of their best sellers. Uh, I shall bring it down to the bench. We'll have a look inside the box, and then we'll get to the building and see how it looks when it's finished eventually. So this is the box. Uh, it's quite heavy. It's quite substantial. It's mainly wooden, this kit. Uh, as it says, let's have a quick look around the outside of the box. See what it tells us. A thing of great interest. Um, DIY. Batteries. Yeah, you need batteries for it. I've got those. I shall sort those out momentarily. Uh, but for now, let's have a look inside the box itself. Uh, I've already opened this and taken the plastic cover off of these. The initial wooden sprues, the sheets, are all already covered in plastic. So I've just taken that off of there so we can see exactly what we've got inside here. Uh, there are, where are we, six of those. Uh, one is quite a lot thicker than the others. These are quite quite flimsy as these things go. They obviously need a certain amount of flex to them. They always make them the right thickness for the job. So uh, there we have those. Let's have a look through those one at a time and have a look at and see exactly what we've got on them. Well, we won't know exactly what we've got on them until we get to the build, but there we go. That's what we've got on the first one. Next one's there. Nothing really jumping out at me as being recognisable. That's quite a big sort of base plate. Lots and lots, dozens, if not hundreds of pieces on there to build through the course of this build. Um, that was a little bit heavier, I think. And the bottom one is the heaviest of them all. This is the one that's got gears and cogs on it that need more stability. There we have that. Uh, we've got our instruction sheet, which I shall have a click through in a moment. Uh, we've got our contents pack, which tells us everything that's in there, apart from the wooden stuff, which is all of this stuff. Uh, this is interesting things. And we've got a little square of sandpaper, which obviously you need to tidy up the pieces. We've got some sort of plasticky, rubbery, um, sort of, I don't know exactly what they are. There's two of those, uh, sort of covers for the printing bit, They're that sort of size. Uh, we've got a plastic block that's for the printing bit, no doubt. Frame, obviously that's where you're going to put the, the cards in. We've got plastic arrangements for that. Uh, we have got a sheet of sort of plastic, not decal type things, but... Probably just decorative pieces, but maybe not. You never know with these. Uh, we've got a pack of cards for printing on. Obviously, if you want more, you can use more. Uh, there's a big rod there as well. Uh, let me pop these back in there, out of the way. Uh, we have got the battery box, which I'll be looking at in a minute. We've got our screwdriver for the battery box, as well as screws, bolts, nuts, and whatever. And tweezers, obviously, because you're going to be using ink to get the letters in place. Uh, some twine there, some the bits and pieces in there. Lots of stuff. Uh, there is some little washers, more screws, more washers, thicker piece of like emery board, sandpapery type stuff, more bolts and stuff. We've got um, the last compartment there. A board for the ink by the looks of it and uh what looked like the letters uh possibly an ink pad in there as well which would be useful so that is that uh let's have a look uh at uh well clear this out of the way we'll have a look at the battery pack and then we'll have a look through the instruction manual okay here we have the uh battery pack uh even a screwdriver included in the pack literally everything you need except for the batteries is included uh, so they pop in there obviously the correct way round make sure you get the orientation right cover will go back on and the screw will hold it together all nice and locked up uh, then we've got a switch on here on and off uh, and the switch in the middle of here should then activate the bulbs I'll squeeze that together yep there you go when that switches together, the lights are on, switches off, they're off, but basically 
something is going to activate that switch, which will mean the lights will come on. There you go. Nice, that's working. So I shall put that aside for now. I shall keep the tools picked up. Uh, let's get the first batch of parts ready to go. Actually, we'll have a look through the instruction manual first, because that'll tell us what we need to do. Which first thing is checking out the electronics. So we shall do that. Uh, these instructions are always very easily, nicely, clearly laid out. Uh, a QR code there, which you can scan to probably get an online version of it. But I like to have the actual paper. Uh, but all step-by-step -step instructions on exactly what you need to do. Uh, it always tells you what parts you need for the next step. So you can get all of those ready first and then just carry on with that build step until you get to the next one. Uh, lots of things to do in there. It's going to take a little while to get this built up. Uh, whether I show every step or just most of it, I don't know yet. It depends how the build goes, really. But there you go. That's that. It even teaches you how to set the blocks and things in there. And that's what we're going to end up with, a working printing press. So, uh, yeah, let's first start with the first step and test out the electronics. Right, I have started the build. I built the tool from step number one. Uh, now, this looks to be used for putting the little washers onto these bars. Uh, basically, it's to get you lined up, get the washers on the right depth thing in, which is quite useful uh, i'm not going to do it yet because i haven't got to open any of the washers yet i'm not going to open the packets until i actually need to but it looks like i've built this up from six five or six bits uh you're going to put the washer sort of into the end here and when you push that all the way up until the bar is in the little window at the top there then you know the washer is in the correct place there uh, and that side obviously for different types is going to be not quite so far on uh, so there we go. That's the first build that I've done off camera. So let's start doing something on camera. Okay, here we have most of the parts for step one prepared. I'm going to show you how I'm preparing it with the final part from step one. Uh, we need C2. So from sheet uh, C, the third one, uh, it's this big bit here with the rocket name on it. Uh, it easily pops out. Careful not to pop out more than the ones you need, because otherwise you'll end up with lots of loose pieces. Be careful with uh, the shaping on the end of it. Some bits are bigger than others. Some bits are tiny and hard to find. So that's that. Move the extra plate out of the way. This is now almost ready, but not quite. You do need to get rid of the front points. Uh, you'll find a couple of them pretty much on each side you, can see, you really can't see them much not they're very well cut these there's not much coming out at all but just give the edges a quick going over just to get rid of any loose bits that are sort of uh sticking up and might jam in things or just make it not not look quite so nice so there we go that is that ready so that's now the uh c2 uh the other parts are clearly labelled in little packets of some of them. For instance, the screw was in that packet there, marked P4. Uh, the springs were in one of the bags, but they're all clearly labelled. Uh, so we are starting now with our first part of the build. We've got these two pieces which go together. There is uh, engraving on one side of each. You put the two sides together that are not patterned. Uh, and then the next part along goes in there to hold those together like so and then next up we've got two of these little c-clip type things which would also go over that giving us a bit that's really held together like that that's what it looks like in the picture uh, that then needs to go onto here, but one side of this needs to be slightly waxed. Uh, the wax is supplied, and you just need to rub it over a little bit, just to give it, this is obviously going to move a little bit. Uh, then that goes into there, all the way in, and that bit goes in that side as well. Nice. So far, so good. 
Uh, then we need the big plate here and the little plate and the C2. Uh, what have we got there? That's the tiny little bit. Where did that come into play? Let me just double check. Let me go through there. We have C1, C2, uh, A7. That's a little bit, which I'm not using quite yet. C2 is what I'm using. That I need to use in conjunction with our tool. Nose in a minute. I don't need the wax again. Uh, this goes through there. Right, let's see. Uh, we need the big bit with the a nice rubber engraving on it. So then that goes. I can see through there and then up into there. No, I can't tell. Because I've got it the wrong way around. It's that way around. It, look, I think it should be the other way around because of the the name bit, but it isn't. That goes on there. With the two legs popping into the hole, which is the fairly standard uh, installation process for most of this. Involves doing things just like that. So that goes in there. Uh, that bit. Then goes on that way around over the top of that and that helps to line it all up like so so that's not exactly held in place but it's pretty much held in place uh, this then goes through there uh, like go no, from the yes from this side like that the roller to the side. No, sorry, I'm going to do the wrong bit. That way around, like that. There we go. Then there, because that's going to move the whole thing. That's why that needed to be lubricated. Uh, so that goes on there. Then we have to come in place with the, the pin. The final piece and our bit, which has got a little uh, notch on that side, which is what's going to push that home. Let's see, where is that going to push that home? Through the bottom of that, right? Yeah, through the lower hole of those two, which will hold that in place nice and securely. So it's going in there like that. From the other side, though. So the little pin, which I did just pick up and put down again, and dropped again. That is going to go into there. One of the fiddliest bits to do, and they've got us doing it in stage number one. So if you have trouble with the first stage, you're going to have trouble going forwards. But I think it's not too bad. But you get that sort of lined up, I think. Then we can use that little indentation on that side. Hold that there. Make sure it's lined up. And then, supporting the other side of this as well. It should go in there a bit like that. I need to get that in a little bit securer than that, but that's a basically where that needs to be. And let's support that again on both sides. Push and a little wiggle. And there we go. That's now coming through out the other side. And that is held in place securely. It will still move. That's that. Uh, now we need to come in place with the screw. It may, it makes a point of saying which way round the spring has to go. The supplied screwdriver, supplied screw, and we're putting in uh, this bit from the outside. Check again. Always double check before you do it. We're going on the outside. On here. And that is going into that top screw hole, but with the spring on this side. So we've got the screw going in from the side, the inside of the spring, as it were, rather than the outside. So that's going to go on there like that. That screw coming out there. 
going in like that it says do not tighten because that does need to be able to move around a little bit on there so I shall get that down just a little bit further I think I feel it coming out the other side that is now like that so at some point that's going to be held in place down here and that will obviously bring that back as and when now from past experience of building these kits it's always a good idea to make sure each bit moves as it should as you're doing it if you've got one bit always wear it in and use it make sure it does slide as it should uh, if need be you can always add a bit more lubricant say around the edges just to make sure it slides as it should perhaps in that groove maybe possibly a little bit on the back because you don't want anything jamming everything up so make sure that does slide as intended before you get too far into it because you've got 20 bits that all interacting as long as each one moves then they'll all move but if you've got 20 that don't quite move you'll get very caught up and you will have trouble uh, so there we go that is step one uh, let me clear things out of the way. I shall get the parts together and cleaned up for step two. We'll do that next. So the next step, I've got the next parts ready, including the electronics, uh, which is not the first thing we're going to do. First thing we are going to do is fit the other end of this spring in place, which does go, as I suspected, onto that hole there. So I just need to get that twisted around a little bit. I should be able to do it with fingers, but if need be, you might need a, a small pair of tweezers. Or indeed the tweezers they supply with the, the kit might do the job. Uh, let's get that ready to go on the screwdriver. Or not. You could always do with an extra pair of hands. But failing that, just keep persevering. Put that in there, and then that in there. Uh, now this one, it does say to tighten. This one is not going to be moving around at all. So that should be in there. Make sure that's lined up properly before you tighten it. There we go, that is that. So that should now bring itself backwards. I'm liking it quite a lot. Uh, next up, we're going to be using the electronics. So let's move these out of the way for now. We have our battery box, which should still be working. Yep, indeed. We've got two bulbs on there, activated when that switch is made. Uh, and this is going over here. We need to poke through the uh, shorter end, the shorter bulb and this switch. Go through this hole here. Let's get the bulb through first because that's longer than the switch. Should come out this side. There we go. Then the switch is screwed in place using the other screw that we've got out. The switch, there's two holes there, one of which is a proper hole and one of which is just an indentation the inside bit of the switch to go onto. So the switch goes onto that bit. Like that, because there's a little notch coming out the back of the uh, switch there. It's got to go onto the one hole, and then the other hole is where that screw goes. Get that in there, make sure the switch is located properly in the second hole. We can tighten that up. Check to make sure it looks like it's in the right place. It is. I'm going to switch that on again. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That's that. Uh, then we need to uh, put the switch block in the right place over here. Uh, the, the other one goes across there. The indentation for the big uh, bit. This will go over there. Uh, is that next? No, that's not going to go on there yet. We've got to put the blocks in place first. So yes, these two 
go over there first. Uh, you can see which way around they go because one end is bigger than the other. So that's going to go in there, holding the wire in place. A bonus. That one there and that one on the other side, exactly the same. Do that. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and then the solid one of these goes over there once again, either side of the wire. Because the wire is in a little groove. That's that. Uh, this will then go. Uh, does it say to put that in? Yep, that goes in next. Let's do those three. So that's going to go over that way because you need the switch active on this side. That sits in the little bracket that we've just made. Nicely done. Uh, the other side of that. It goes in. I'm going to put this in first and then worry about the, the wire because I think that's going to be much easier to do this that way around. So those wires are sort of sticking out the middle bit, and that goes in there. Making sure that wire is not getting caught up in the holes down there, like it is a little bit. Which one's which? That one's going that way. Can I get that in there first? That might be easier. Oh, if I, yeah, because that's got to go through the middle of that. If I can get that there. Then I should be able to get that wire poked through there. little bit fiddly, but that will get in there. There we go. And then that will sit in there like that. There's going to be another bit covering over that. But for now, that is that. Then these last three clips. What's that bit? Oh, that's the bit out of there. I'm going to need to make sure that goes back through there again. Right. I should do that in a moment. Uh, actually, I'll do that now. I don't know why that came out. I thought that was in there quite securely. So, uh, right. Let me cut away, get that back in place, and then I should come back and show you those bits. Right. I have put that back where it should be. I have, in fact, added a touch of glue just to make sure it doesn't escape again, but been very careful not to glue it into the track. So the track still works. Uh, and it's only when I'm looking at it closely from this way up that I noticed that this is in a, some sort of bear or something with a roller which is very cool. Um, right, next up, we've got these three parts, but in the last three of this uh, stage, this wire that comes out here goes through three little pairs of holes, and those holes have these little clips in them. So we've got one there, which I can't quite line up. There it is. I shall put this for that home better in a minute. Uh, another one there, and another one going around the corner a little bit. And then the light, yeah, I thought that wasn't in there. The light will actually come out through this hole here. Uh, so let me get those three in. I'm going to need to get my head in closer to see exactly where I'm lining them up. So let me get those in, and then see how it looks at the end of this stage. And there we have it battery box secure, wire secure behind the three clips coming out there, our friend with the roller working, I'm sure something's going to push that along but I'm not sure exactly what, maybe we're going to push it along because there's not any other attachment points but I'm sure something will uh, and the switch, when I turn that switch on, on the back there, when we press that it lights up the two bulbs which are probably going to be wherever they're going to be happy with it so far and that's only a couple of stages down uh once again i shall get the parts ready for the next bit and we'll get on with it
So the next step, uh, I have got it all ready again. These are some of the nicest pieces that I've seen in wooden kits. They're sort of sprung. They are a single piece of wood that's been cut in such a way that it allows it to be flexible, which lets it go around corners, which is a thing of beauty, really. Uh, that we are fitting to our main board here. Uh, they are going around the edge. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I've got the bit with the numbers on them on the inside so it's not sitting around on the outside uh, and they're going on the underneath so uh yeah basically the end piece goes in there uh, actually hang about i do have to make sure that they're the correct way up uh yeah the bits that i was just trying to put in there are the wrong bits it's these bits that go in there So that goes in there, and then this all curves around there, and then curves around here. And that bit will go into there. It says to avoid the wire. So yeah, you've got to make sure the wire is on the inside of this bit. And I've just done it exactly the opposite of what I said, and make sure that I get that on the other. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it that way around, because on the outside of that, we're having a thing anyway. So it doesn't actually matter which way round that goes. This one needs to go in the same orientation. Bottom there. Uh, there are some parts that it is necessary to get the right way round. But this one is not one of them. So that's going around there again, making sure the wire is on the inside and not getting trapped underneath this, like that is a little bit. Let's just push that clear, like so. Uh, and then on the outside of that is where these pieces come in. Uh, not those yet. We've got these four and these two. More screws and things sorted out for a use momentarily. But first of all, we've got to put these in here. So these do have a nice engraving on one side and not on the other. So you need to make sure that's on the outside. like so that's a corner piece and these again with the nice engraving piece on the outside go there cover over that name plate from the inside there like that this one on that side and the same again on the outside around there. Making sure again, all the nice etched piece and the sort of laser etching on them is visible. Because there's no point in them making them like that if you're not going to use it. So that is that done. Uh, then we need to make up our little block, which is made up of these uh, that holds them together like that uh, I'm going to put the name on the inside of that one because why not uh, I can make sure that is the right way around as well that is that way around that I was trying to do it that one on there that one on the other side uh, actually yeah again I'm going to put the name bit on the inside of this Pretty sure it's not going to be visible anywhere anyway, but I might as well cover it up where you can. That goes on there. This bar goes through all of that with the little plastic washers on the outsides of that. Now, I should be able to just pop those on by hand. Yeah. So make sure that's even. To both sides, is that coming through there? Yep, that goes on there like that. Uh, then this is going into uh, the tricky bit. This piece is going that way around, and that's going underneath there, like so. 
think it's that way around, but let me double check that again. The bit that we just put is going on the inside here. So, no, that was the right way around. That bit's that way, and that bit's that way. So, that going on there like so. That gives us a little roller piece there, which that's going over the top of. And uh, then, let's use the screwdriver for this bit, but it's not using any screws. Uh, assemble with the screwdriver. Right, so this is going on there. That is going to be with the battery box that side. This is going on there like so. So that's the tricky bit where you've got to get everything lined up nicely uh then they are going to go over and the screws are actually going to hold it together and then the feet go on top of it so i'm going to struggle with getting all of these bits lined up because we've got uh let's say the four corners the two in the middle these two bits all have to line up properly in there so uh yeah this is going to take a little bit of just going around making sure the first bit goes in place and working our way around all of it pushing and pulling different bits to get different bits to line up so i shall continue to do this off camera and i'll see you when it's done to do the final bit of this stage right yes the one bit that was a problem uh this end no trouble at all this end with the battery box you've got the two extra bits to put in place which is the bit that it says to push in with the screwdriver i actually used the small pair of metal tweezers that i could get in thinner to get into the right place so i put that in place uh i put one screw in so i'm going to put the other three screws in now just getting that in there it lines up with the screw hole behind this uh decorative piece so I should do it up yeah once you can get it lined up right obviously that's not lined up because you can see it coming out down here so yeah another bit that's a little bit tricky but persevere with it and sooner or later you'll get it lined up uh, again might be easier to use another tool to grab it and line it up anyway so i shall do that bit behind the scenes as well uh the final part is putting the feet on which go over these four outstanding pieces and then we've got some self-adhesive stick rubber feet that go over those like that so let me get these final bits put together and then see how it looks at the end of that stage. And there we go, the end of another stage, all done, nice and uh, working. Lights still work, which is always good to test because you know, been playing around near the wires. I'll turn that off for now to save the batteries. Obviously, nicely designed so you can get to it and change the batteries without having to get everything apart. Uh, it's got the feet on there, nice little rubber feet, so that will hold it securely in place on pretty much any surface, I would expect. Uh, our little man slides backwards and forwards under his own power springing back so uh, yeah that is quite substantial uh, for a, a base unit you can see see inside there to see a bit, a bit of what's going on uh, and yeah I'm happy with that that's all come together quite nicely so far so uh, there we go uh, I shall continue with the next stage right we're actually starting on stage number two now uh, i didn't realize all of that was the first stage so this is stage two uh we're putting that aside for now for, for the time being and we're building a separate sub assembly uh for that we're going to be putting these bits together uh going forwards from this part of the build i won't be showing you each and every step uh, unless there's something interesting to show you in it uh because it's all basically exactly the same stuff uh, if there's anything of any note or any interest i will of course uh, revisit to show you that but for now uh that's going to go on there is that going to go all the way down there yep there we go so 
goes in there like that. It says to make point of getting these the right way round, which pretty much the same on all parts of the build. You should always make sure you get things the right way round. <coughs> so that is going on there. Uh, the interesting bit, we're going to be using our tool thing again. But putting one of these washers onto the right place on this. So we put that on there and then shove that up inside there. And that puts it the right way, the right distance up there, which is very cool. I like that a lot. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we've got to do some more waxing on this bit that we're going to be fitting with the bar through there. It's going in the middle bit. So, uh, and then put the other bar on the other side. So let's get some waxing done on bits that are going to turn, bits that are going to rub, basically. And there. Uh, that is the same either way up. So it doesn't matter which way around that goes in there. That goes in there and that goes through the middle of that. So that's going to rotate. We've got this to go on the other end. Get that on. Like that, come on. On it goes. And then we can push that again all the way home in that which makes it a bit snugly in the middle there i'm happy with the way that how that works that moves again because it's a moving part i'm gonna sit and twiddle it for a little while just to wear it in and make sure it's the lubricant's getting exactly where it needs to be uh so i shall continue on with these parts we've got some screws to put in so let's see where they're gonna go uh they are gonna go in in here actually uh tighten the screws it says rotate to align the edges I'm going to have to play with getting these in the right places as well. So, uh, yeah, I, I shall get that done behind the scenes and then show you how it looks when this bit's finished. Okay, ignore me. You don't wax that bit because those screws go through there and hold it in place. You've got to get that lined up with these marks on the outside there. Uh, the waxing is brought in between the teeth. They are going to be functioning, gearing teeth against something. Get in there as far as you can. Again, that will wear in when it's in use. So that's that. Uh, these bits then go on the outside here. Hold that together. And I shall continue on getting the rest of these bits on now. Uh, so that's that piece all assembled with the other bits on there as well uh, and then again we put that aside and carry on with building the first of the gears i'll show you building this bit because it's a little bit more complicated than some of the others uh it starts off with uh this uh, starts off with that bit basically i've put them in order that's how they're going to go together those two go next to each other so uh i'm going to start off with this bit going into there because that needs to come through a bit further into the first of these like that so we've got the four of those starting to hold everything together basically the two of those should line that up that one will go down there should be lined up with the bit on the other side as well and the last one of those go through there that finishes off that bit then there's that that goes on there yeah. all of these i have sanded but I haven't as yet lubricated the um between the teeth actually i will do that now because i might not be able to get into smaller bits inside there afterwards Get those done, make sure I'm getting the inside bit and the tips done on those. They're going to be rubbing against things. So uh, normally gears and cogs would not be lubricated, only the 
interior rotating part. But where these are wood against wood, it's always good to get them done. Uh, I might as well do the outsides of these while I'm here as well. Roughly do those because those bits I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get to afterwards anyway. As I'm doing this, this is wearing down the wax a little bit, letting me get in a little bit deeper. So it might be worth coming back afterwards to make sure that this is uh, lubricated properly. But uh, when I, whenever I get the next gear along that it goes into, I'll run it for a little while and make sure it gears up properly. So there we go, that's that. Uh, then these two will go on there. Obviously, we need to make sure they go on there. Directly, uh, actually, it doesn't matter which way around they go, they're always going to line up because of the way they've made this bit. So that makes that a thicker gearing in there. And that one, then that one, which again, I will again, it doesn't matter which way around of the four it goes because it's going to line up whichever, but always worth checking because you never know, it's one of these might not line up quite right. And then that will cover over that end piece. And then we've got the axle, the rod that goes through the middle like that. With these spaces, these are the slightly different spaces on there. Put it on there. Now it doesn't say anything about using that. It just says to make sure it's even. So I shall just eyeball that, put it through a little bit more. It's got, it's quite, these the, those rubber bits don't actually stop on there very securely, so uh, it will move a bit one way or the other anyway. So there we go. That is the next stage completed with that. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's get the next parts ready and build on. Okay, more parts for the next part of the build. Uh, we're putting a little plug in, holding that on there. Obviously, we're going to be doing the same on the other side with that bit wheels on and attaching it all together so let me get the sub assemblies built and then we'll see about attaching the other bits and there we go all together looking good and working i like it um not entirely certain what it's going to do as yet and this is obviously geared to the interior of that so the outside is the bit that's going to work against something else but that's uh it's obviously the press you go too far one way or the other then that disconnects it that's all right because it won't be doing that but there you go that's now a thing i'm going to wear that in again as i said to make sure everything rotates and fits in there properly so uh, that's that almost ready for the next part the next stage coming up soon okay the next stage we've got one thicker uh piece with two other pieces that go on the outside and they are held together with these bars and tube type things. Uh, that is going that way around. Middle bit. Good bit in there. Yep. <coughs> uh, these are also going to fit tightly in the middle piece. Uh, one at the front and one uh, through up here and then these two bars go on either side of that <coughs> and then those bits go around on the outside up there and the bar goes through the end there i'll uh, get the wooden bits together and then fit the bar there you go that's all of the wooden bits assembled uh then we need this to go through there The way through there with one of these on either end and these are fitted onto the other bit that we haven't used as yet the uh the push them on but not quite as far side of this uh so the shorter the two sides so it's that way around this one that goes on there to there it looks like that's going to be just the same on the other side. On. Oh, 
push that down there and yep that's lined up nicely a little bit of wiggle room but not much and we've got another hinge piece good to go the next pack the next selection uh it's got a couple of points to make on these uh there's a an edge piece on here that needs to be downwards uh as that goes on there uh that way round well this doesn't matter if that's that way around but no, it's going that way around and this is then going underneath it again with that bit on the inside there that goes on that side uh do the same on the other side and the big bit goes across the back uh let me get some more of this assembled and we'll see how it looks had it the wrong way around uh that piece goes on this side because you've only got one side of this where that back piece goes so easy enough to pull it back out if i hadn't gone very far in so that's going on there and then that's going on to the end there like that filling in that gap and there we go nice little uh stevie box type thing built up uh i'm pretty sure this is where the the press action is going to happen uh, but that is that uh, let's get on with the next bit when we're going to be putting more of this together okay next up we get to fit a plastic part finally uh, but first of all we've got to put some screws into these pieces and indeed fit that onto there as well uh, there's lubrication on all of this bit there's obviously stuff that's going to be sliding around there so I should lubricate that same on that side as well and uh get that fit on there with the little pegs and then we'll see how the bit goes together i'll get the screws in as well right i'm fairly certain that, that goes in there that way around and this seems to go down there uh with the opening to the front so these screws in there just act as buffers so when that goes up it's going to rotate around there and then rotate around there because this is going to be where the ink pad is going to go i'm pretty sure so that will go in there like that and then we'll rotate down to press into the front printing onto so this is going to go on the other side in exactly the same way it says a thing about holding this but that doesn't seem to go into anything at the moment so i'm not too concerned about how that bit lined up but that's going to go in there like that that's on there now so that's attached down there and will work like that so I'm, i understand how that goes together that's good uh these bits go in underneath because we're fitting this to here um basically like that that goes through there and then these go underneath. I think they just sort of. How are they going to lodge in? That goes down. Yeah, they do just go in sort of sideways. So these are going to go in. Hang on, let's get that in there. Ah, oh, right, yeah. That's going to go in there and then that will slide forwards. There you go. So that's on there now sort of locks in place and these will go in somewhere in there to hold that in place uh go even further forwards than that i've got that backwards let me double check yes i've got that the other way around so that goes that way around on there and then that slides this way yeah so that's got to go quite a long way this way like that there and then there's room for that in the back there that way around like that but all the way in once i've got the other side located as well there we go that's that one and then there's that in there 
on the way out. Leaf. Uh, it's I've got that the right way around. It's just a case of wiggling and locating to make sure that goes all the way home. So I can work on that and get that up there before the next stage. And on to step six, uh, we've got some another big hog thing to put together. Uh, so we're putting this together with three of those, that on there, then screw through there, screw through the other bit, and attach it all together. I'll build it and show you what it looks like. Right, there we go. That's gone together. Uh, this has got a, an interesting sort of a, a cam system on there. So obviously the rotation of that will make this go up and down, which obviously is going to be hinged there. So it's going to make that go up and down a little bit. Or that going up and down will make the wheel turn. I'm not entirely certain which way around. But that's locked in there quite nicely. So uh, that's that. Let me just get the next parts ready. All right, the next part's another rod with uh, bars on there. We're going to be fitting that onto this. So uh, let's get all these assembled. There we go. Just a decorative sort of eagle motif on there that's, I say, going to go up and down, no doubt. Interesting looking, but not necessary for the build. So the next stage, here we go. Uh, nice and easy. That goes onto the middle of that. Like so. These go either side. I don't know again what this bit is, if it's functional or decorative, but either way, that's going on there. These are going on to the three posts, stick out the side of that. One, and that one. And then that goes on to this big bit. Yeah, like so. up properly two posts in the cross shape bit that's all got a line up there we go that's that uh one more bit completed let's get the next bit together right the next parts including the big long square rod uh but first of all we're going to make up a little uh ear thing that's going to go on it with those in the middle of that uh, made up with these four bars, just like we've done previously. So we've got the four of those. We'll go through the two of those. And then two of each, each of those will go onto the ends. Either end. Make all of that up. Uh, and then we get to fit that onto the bar. So uh, let me make it up and put it on the bar. We'll see what's next. Right, that's that attached on there. We use this to get the size right, the distance from that end. Uh, and then we need to fit it onto here. Uh, it goes on that way, the longer side on that one. We've got to get that through there. And then that should, yeah, there we go. That comes in through to there. Uh, then... Various bits have got to go on the other ends of it. Uh, to hold that in place, I need to lubricate those and indeed screw those bits together. So uh, we've got to screw things together and get them onto there, or not together, just put screws into them for all these screws coming. So let me get those done, get it attached, and we'll see how it looks when that bit's done. There we go. That's those. I'd forgotten I need another one of those. So I've got both ends set up with the washers in there. And that's all set up, good to go. So I'm pretty sure this is going to go in the middle bit. Those are going to engage in against that. So somehow that rotating is going to make that rotate, which is going to do something. Some sort of gearing on that that's going to operate that bit. But for now, that's that. Uh, let me clear it away and get the next parts ready. So the next part, this is obviously going to be where the gearing 
goes on to there. Got a couple of springs to fit as well and uh, make up a little frame piece. So uh, yeah, I'll get to it and we'll see how it looks. All right, so that's that bit built up on the side there. The bulb has been curved round to act as a, a big light bulb. Uh, we get to use the plastic sheet now. That goes in there. A bit like that. Uh, and this will go in front of it. It gives us the uh, sort of frosted glass effect there. So that one there and that over the other side to fill over the other half of that. Okay, so we get to finish off this side now uh, with the top piece. I say top piece, it's only the middle piece really. Uh, that's going to go on there and sort of support the plants. And then these build up around the edge. I don't know exactly how yet. Uh, so we've just got a moving part that goes on there with hinged, but um, I can put together. Anything interesting, I'll show you. Right, so I've built up that bit. It's got this little... Uh, Twiddly piece there, uh, which then needs to attach to there, but I wasn't quite sure what it meant when it said about making sure you get a bit in there because I've got this bit, tooth bit, completely the wrong way around. Uh, the springs should be, well, the springs are on the correct side, but the entire bit should be flipped around 180 degrees. And this is the piece that that needs to go between. So uh, I shall disassemble it, turn that round, and put it all together properly this time. Right, I've built up the next step. We're putting the springs onto that before we're attaching it to anything else. So that's an interesting way of doing it. Uh, the string now comes into play. Put one end of it, one end of it through that hole, and then it fell out again. But if we do that again. We'll put one end of it through that hole. Uh, have five to ten millimeters of it sticking out to stop it coming through. So just a bit, and then the screw will hold that in place. Put the screw ready before getting the string through. There we go. That one there. I'm using my own screwdriver for this rather than the supplied one just because it's easier to grab and twist. But the uh, supplied one will work fine. Got something a bit better. Why not use it? So that goes in there like so and just holds that and that just hangs loose for the rest of it. Apparently we're not going to attach it quite yet. I don't know why we need a string, but we'll come to it. Uh, this piece is going on there and all connecting up with the gears. So we've got to get the gears in the right position for both sides to be lined up. Uh, I did take this apart and put that the correct way around. So that's all attached up there now. So uh, I shall play with this and get that connected to the right height. See how it goes. So the next parts, we're going to continue building up the side. Uh, again, not going to be showing all the filming parts, but I'm just going to get the next few stages done and then show you how the details have gone on. Right, <clears throat> that's got that connected on there. There's a big springy washer that's gone on there and holds that fairly securely. Uh, this side, again, is all on and connected. Uh, that's connected up to the top of that. This uh, spring is just coming out of here. Um, it was actually twice as long, so there were two bits in there. I don't know, I don't know exactly what that bit's for, but that's how that connects up. Uh, this is now geared and working and sprung, uh, although it's not quite, it's not screwed on to this side as yet. But uh, that's how that is. Uh, next up, we're going to be fitting the big top gear thing, which is going to be somewhat complicated. Uh, I've put on these two little side clip things which look like they're going to engage into there so this is going to go over it like that <coughs> then they clip in and hold it in place by the looks of it but you've got to get this in the correct position before you can engage that and it's a little bit complicated so i shall see about doing that and then we'll see how it looks i think it's the other side as well right that's that assembled onto there and i think working okay but i can't play with it yet because it says not to i really want to but i'm not going to um so that is that because we haven't actually got one side of it screwed in and we haven't got the springs connected to the other side of it so uh, there's a lot still to do so uh, let's let's get straight on with the next bit i think we're going to be fitting some of the bits that we've got 
reassembled onto it next time. So I'll see what I'm doing with those, get any extra bits for it together, and then see how it looks. Right, so we need to fix this piece onto the top there, a bit like that. But the springs need to go through on this rod. And then these pieces fit on the outside. I'm not entirely certain how they fit on the outside as yet, but we'll figure that out in a minute. So I've got to fiddle around and get the spring connected to the one end of this rod and the other end of this rod. And then get those in on the sides as well. And then it locks in place and attaches in multiple places up and along as well. So uh, yeah, let me play with that. Well, there we go. That's that connected up and the sides put on there as well. Um, I still can't play with it yet. I don't really, really want to. But for now, that is that. Uh, I've got the next parts ready, and I think we're going to be adding the other big bits that we've got left over. So uh, it's coming together quickly. So there we have the next few bits installed, and this is sort of uh, trying to work. It says to test it a little bit, so I have. But what I've still got to do is attach this to that plate there this is not holding together quite as well as i would be happy it does but it's not finished yet so the screw through the middle there needs to go through there i need to get that lined up to there then we can tighten that on there and that's obviously going to connect up elsewhere and when that turns that will yeah, make that go up and down as well. Nice. I like it. It's coming together. It's got lots of bits and decorative things. Uh, a few more bits to put on, and then uh, we'll see the next stage. Right. There we go. That's the next bit installed. Uh, there's one thing that's not right. That bit that goes over there sort of pulls out, but I'm pretty sure that these are going to go in front of it and hold it in place more securely. Uh, so basically, more decorative stuff to add. Uh, then we'll see how, how just how decorative it looks in a minute. Right, there we have that side all built up. Uh, one problem, the bits here, uh, I've got this bottom plate on completely the wrong way around. Uh, the only difference being that this post that's in that corner should actually be in this corner, and it's a little pot that that sits onto. Um, there's obviously a little hole there that that would fit into. So what I'm actually going to do is cut off the bottom of this post and just glue that in place there so it looks like it should be there. Uh, I might even use the bit that I cut off to fill in that hole, but I'm not too worried about that bit. So uh, that's that update there. Uh, still not sure what this string is for, but it's still just sticking out the side over here. Uh, yeah, that's that. Other than that, it's, it's working mostly. Um, it's got a tendency to slip off this side, but I haven't built up the bits around this side. I think that's next, because I think that side is pretty much finished now. So, uh, yeah, it's certainly getting there. And then this has obviously got the, uh, once that's geared in, that's going to make that do a thing as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with how it's coming along. Let me get the next few parts built together, and we'll see how that looks. So, that's got that cut together, uh, that piece in there. Found out what the string is for. The string is going to operate this guy. Uh, so as that goes down, he's going to pull him along, which is quite cool. Not necessary, but cool. Uh, so that's that connected up. Uh, this I've managed to snap together a little bit better. It was not quite right. So I've tidied that up, put that together in there. Uh, so next up, we've got one more gear to make up. We've got to put the four screws together to hold that together. Right way round. Which is like that. It does seem to matter which way around this one goes. That's interesting. Make sure it is the right way around. Obviously, the two gears need to mesh with, you know, not with each other, but to match each other. And there is one side of this that is printed or engraved or whatever to make that look nice. So that is going together on there. Then these four, that goes in there. All of that goes onto our post here with the little rubbery thing holding it in place. Uh, and then that goes somewhere else in the next step. 
Right, that's the outer surround put in with the bulb underneath. I've made up the little sub assembly of the uh, thing. We're going to be using the tube as well. Uh, but first of all, this bit's got to go on there with the ladder. The ladder's going to go into those two down the bottom there. I say ladder, it's not, not a ladder, but it looks like a ladder to me. Uh, and then that's going to go in the top piece like that. Even that's just opened because of where the wire for the bulb is. That's going to go there like that. Um, the tube needs to go. How's this going to go? That goes on there. That way round. That goes in there that way. And he's flush with that bit as well. So that's got to go on there that way around. Like that. And that goes in there. Around. That on there like that. That is our little tube. Uh, and that goes underneath the other bit. Oh, onto that bit there. There you go. Not entirely certain what that bit's for, but that goes on there. That must connect up up there. Somehow, I'll have a little play around and get that connected up. Uh, then I need to connect up the string through the inside to the bottom of this. Oh, that's probably going to go through there. That'll go through there. Right, I'll get the string sorted out as well. Right, tube connected, string going through it, coming out the bottom here. Uh, so now I need to attach this to that spring on there uh, while it's in that position, while that's in that position. Because when this is pulled down, string is pulled through, which will move him across. You can really see it now. You probably can when the bulb comes on. But yeah, so I need to make sure that's all the way out. This is all the way tight. And that gets tightened under there. Uh, and then we can cover it up with a plate with a bit decorative bit on the front of it. <coughs> so uh, let's start covering things up. And there we have it. Uh, tied it up, locked away, the excess cut away. And uh, yeah, he moved. And the stamp goes down. Nice. It's in the background anyway, because this is obviously the side you're going to be using. But uh, yeah, I like that. That's nice. Uh, what I will do now is test it as well, because where I've got all this to end up, when this goes down, when it goes all the way down, that's when the light comes on. So we've got the light on over this side, and the light at the back there, it's above the tube. The things are moving, uh, the bit at the top there is the lifting up, and that goes down as well. And the more I do this, the easier it gets, it's wearing it in quite nicely. So uh, it's very, very close to getting there now. Uh, a few more decorative bits to put on, and then we'll see how it works. Right, those are the next few parts made up. Uh, we've got a few bits to add uh, to this side here. We've finished the other side now, I think. Looking good. Uh, so we've got a little uh, headlock type thing going down there. Little twin rollery thing will go in next to it, uh, right up and downwards. So that's in there, like that. If I can get the angles right for that, put that in a minute. Uh, that then goes over the top of it with the two little bars to hold that around there, and finally. These three will go around there, ready for the other side of that to come in. Okay. Made up <clears throat> the other side of the R, which isn't an R, but there you go. Uh, that's going to go on there, but covering over this top bit, we've got our uh, second little uh, semi-transparent piece. Uh, I don't know what these are just going to support it, I should think, because they're not actually going to do anything. So we've got to get that in the little grooves there. While getting that 
across the bottom there and everything else connected up. So let's get that connected up and then move on to the next bit. That's got that together. Nicely done in there. Uh, one more bit to fit on the like similar to that, uh, which is going, where are we going? Around the outside of this piece. And fit around there. So it goes in much the same way. It goes in around there after I've dropped it. Uh, and then we've got these other pieces to build up and put on decoratively. Right, the end seems to be in sight. Uh, I have put in some more decorative little bits, touches around the edges, extra uh, things. The bear's still there. Uh, what else have we got? We've got another brush that's appeared up the top there, uh, one down the side, and this little guy down here. And this interesting bloke on the side here that goes up and down with the uh, with the thing. Uh, we've built a drawer, which is going to go in underneath there. Assume that's where I'm going to be able to keep my uh, extra printing things. Quite nice, I like that. Uh, taking the plastic off of our acrylic piece, which gives us our proper printing area, which sits in there. Needs to sit in a little bit more securely. Go in. It's going to pop in there, I think, with a little bit more pressure. There we go. That will give us a nice printing bed. Uh, so that's that. Uh, only a couple more stages to go, but let's get to it. So really only one more assembly stage to go. We've got to put our printing mat onto there, and that's held in place with these four corners. Go on. Each corner like that, and that gives us a line up for the other things. So I shall get that done in a moment with all of those. Uh, that is what we use to then line up cards on the inside. This goes onto here, stuck on. And this is our bed. It's where we're going to put all of our letters and things. That just goes on there like that. We have got our ink pad and our set of uh, letters and other decorative things, uh, which I shall break some off of and put onto our pad at some point for the printing. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, the printing pad obviously goes onto there. The, the ink pad goes onto the top bit. Uh, this slides into Hit that down far and uh, with it, which way around does it need to go on? That way around, <coughs> and that slides in like so. I believe put me that way up, and might be doing it the wrong way around. Yeah, it's on the wrong side. There we go. So that will go in there like that. That will now flip over and do the printy stuff. Once that's in far enough, there you go. That's in there properly. So that stays there now. And that does the printing. Uh, into the top piece here, we need to slide our ink box. Which is going to be the last thing I do because I don't want to get ink everywhere. This is just a... <coughs> um, an ink pad, basically. Cover, you don't need the cover. The ink pad will go in here, obviously downwards, because that's what's going to line up with it. But I'm not going to put that in there quite yet. I'm going to get the rest of this put together. I'll make up with messy, and we'll see about printing. Right, I have made up a block. Uh, I shall insert it and see. Anyone want to guess what it's going to say? I think you can probably read it and not even guess, but. We'll have a look and see what it says in a sec. Okay, I have loaded it up. I haven't tried it as yet, so I don't know if it's going to work at all. But it's in there. I've missed an R out. I checked it. Double checked it again. Subscribe, I'd spelt wrong. But I've done it correctly now. That should be in there. As far as I can tell, that's touching the ink. So that should be it. 
I'll put that in there. We'll put a single card, of which they supplied a few. In, uh, maybe that doesn't go in there, does it? Go over the top. So that goes in there. Oh, I think it said only use that if you need it. So I'm not going to put that in there because I've got letters sort of mostly around it. So I'm just going to put the card in there. I'm not going to put that over the top of it. We'll see if it works or not. That should be lined up against the little uh, corner pieces. So that's that. Um, I'll push it down. I'll have to do it on down on the desk. So your apologies, you haven't got the best angle, but. You should see the lights come on when it goes down. Turning round. Going down and the lights have not come on. Did I turn oh there you go. Push it down a little bit harder, the lights have come on. So there we go, lights have come on. It's working as it should. And if I let it back up, it comes back up. And um let's see what we've got in there. Up, bring it out. Let's have a closer look. Now it's going to be upside down because I put the thing in the other way up. But it's got printing on it. It's mostly okay. The middle bit's not quite there, but it prints. It's a functioning printing press. So uh, there we go. Thank you once again to Rocker for sending me this. Hopefully they've enjoyed the build video. I shall take the printing, the ink out, because you don't want that to dry out. But uh, I'll leave the rest of it assembled for now. Might print some other things. You never know. Thank you very much. If you want one of your own, there should be a link in the description below. Uh, go along, check out their site, and uh, tell them I sent you. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now. And by the way, like and subscribe. <laughs>